Okay, so we're gonna make poppy seed cake. We need some poppy seeds. We need a quarter liter of milk. We need 500 grams of flour, 125 grams sugar. We need four eggs, out of which we need to split three into the yolk and the egg white. And uh, we need one full one. And we need some salt and a big bowl. All right, so I'm gonna start by splitting the eggs. In the meanwhile, I took the rapid rice yeast, put it in a bowl with a little warm water and a little bit of sugar and a little flour, a little milk, and just stir it up, it's already rising. Um, the other thing I should mention is we need butter. We need 125 grams of soft butter. I melted it so it's really soft, but it just needs to be soft. All right, next we use a bowl, put all the butter in there, all our eggs, the egg yolk, the whole egg. Um, the sugar. All right, now we're gonna make a foam mess out of this. Okay, here comes the magic machine. All right, that's our butter, egg, sugar foam. And the next thing is we need a, uh, a sieve for the flour. And now I'm gonna just add all this flour on top of that. Okay, this is what this looks like once it's all sift over. And now we need to lift it under. All right, this is like what this looks like, lifting it under. And then we need to add our milk, which we need to make lukewarm. And mix this all together and only use enough milk so it stays like a firm dough and doesn't get runny. Okay, I just added the yeast mixture from earlier and now I also changed my hooks on this stirring device and I'm gonna now all the milk and pretty much everything is in here so we're just gonna finish this up a little bit all right so this is with all the yeast mixed in with my stirring device also is known as a mixer could have used a kitchen aid like this one as well probably makes it a little bit uh, easier because it's a bit more powerful however it also requires the kitchen aid to be carried over to where you have space with a bowl, um, which was kind of counterintuitive for me, so I used the mixer. And uh, now that we have mixed it all together, we'll put it here a little bit on the side, like right over here and cover it with like a kitchen towel. Let it sit there for like half an hour to, to rise. There we go, all nicely covered. In the meanwhile, one could sample the dough. Just remember it contains raw egg, but uh, if you trust your eggs, you should be fine. Hmm, very doughy. All right. All right, in the meanwhile, we could obviously play with the dog while this dough is uh, doing the rise and shine thing. Um, we could also jump on the home trainer to uh, build up, I mean, to, uh, to burn a couple of calories that we're later going to add back into our body once the Mondkuchen is ready. Uh, the other thing we can do is obviously we could process yeah. the poppy seeds, the Mohn. Um, so I have a espresso grinder here. So we Fill all this stuff right in here. That should be good. Put on the lid. Press the magic button. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. All right, we'll be back. Okay, this is the uh, finished product. Um, we'll need to make a couple more batches. So I'll be back again. I had some extra poppy seeds that I found in the cabinet. So I decided 
heck with the little coffee grinder into the food processor. That looks beautiful. However, need to note that this is actually a little bit too much for our Mohnkuchen. So we'll go back over here. Um, I measured some 500 grams of flour again. This time we're gonna use the um, unbleached all purpose, even organic. Um, we'll combine that with another 125 grams of sugar. All right, here we go with the sugar. We'll do another 125 grams. Oh, way too much, 152. Take a little out, a little bit more. There we go, perfect. Okay, fortunately we have a second pot on standby. So I'm just kicking the um, one egg plus three egg yolks. All right, this is pretty much done here. Now we need to let this one sit as well for maybe half an hour and then we'll be back to make the finished product and add the um, poppy seeds. Okay, next we need to do the poppy seed filling. Um, obviously I'm gonna make two, but the recipe for one means um, 250 grams of poppy seeds. So this is 500. Then we need 100 grams of sugar, this is 200. We need uh, some raisins, um, 50 grams, so this is 100. We need some lemon zest, breadcrumbs, and of course rum. And then we also have um, a quarter liter of milk which is still missing here, which will be here in a minute, and then also honey. All right, the first thing that goes in is the milk. Quarter liter, so this is a half a liter because I'm making two. I'm gonna be adding the sugar. And I'm gonna to stir this whole thing while we turn on the heat. Two tablespoons of honey, please. That might take a while. one another one we'll also add in a little bit cinnamon okay now the milk, milk is getting hot we're gonna add the poppy seeds. Okay, they're all in. Let me need a couple of other yummy things. Um, for example, we're going to add the rind of a lemon. I might just add a little bit extra, all right. Um, we need also, of course, rum, about three tablespoons, one, two, three, all right, and then the lots of stirring and the um, raisins, and last but not least, we need our breadcrumbs in a regular serving. We're going to add three tablespoons. So in our case, we're doing six. And of course the thinking is, if only adults eat this, we'll add a little bit extra rum. Good. Okay. Now we need to let it come to a quick boil. 
bulb. Okay, now it's boiling. That's excellent. Okay, now we took our first dough out of the bowl, nicely grown. Put it on a lightly floured surface. Floured, um, surface, yep. In this case, a nice board. Knead a little bit more. Just make sure the consistency is the same all across. Okay. And now we can roll it out. Stop. Now you're rolling this out nicely. All right, we're doing equally in all directions until we have a nice oversized. This is actually one of these times when bigger is better. So the bigger your cutting board is, the better. And the next thing is we're going to add half of our mon or poppy seed filling. It looks like on burnt top of sludge. it. Burnt slush, yep. Yeah. I said sludge. Sludge, okay. Whatever <laughs> looks like burnt sludge, we're going to put it right on here. So, paste it on there. Okay. Now we're going to roll it. Okay, now we're going to put it yes. into a pre-greased form. Watch out, it's heavy and it does not like to move anymore. There's a hole. And then I'll brush a little bit. Of... Oh, this is a hard brush. Nice So it looks really pretty. All right, so that's the first one. This can go. Put our dough on here. I'm gonna flower it a little bit nicely up. Knead it a little bit. Some extra TLC. A what? Tender loving care. We'll make this one a little bit thicker and smaller overall. Get Put over. the rest of our filling on there. No. You. Your burnt not sludge. Black sludge. Burnt. Burnt not sludge. Black. All right. It's not black when it's burnt. It's burnt when it's burnt. Hmm. Okay, we learned something new. <laughs> On the way, always a plus. Here we go. Uh huh. You can actually, you should probably before this all slides in the oven, we can sample a little bit. Mm, excellent. You already did that though. No, you already did that though. Nah. Yeah. You can never sample enough. <sighs> And now we have to roll this in. Here we go. Off to the Aggie, other tray. Aggie egg. Boy, that one's gonna be heavier. Yeah. Let's we'll see if we can grab this guy. Don't pop it. Boy. There oh. we go. That hurts.
That's it. Now it goes into the oven oh, yeah. at 190 degrees Celsius. Oh, yay. Wait, what's Fahrenheit then? This is approximately 350. 350. First one in. Second one in. And door closed. And the timer to be set for. Four. Oh, that's a good question. 45 minutes. There we go. These are the finished products, number one and number two. All right, now they just gotta cool down a little bit and then we can test them.